Hi, so this is just a quick video on ZP's technology for sampling um, the gas phase and vapor phase. Um, so what we have is a, um, a cartridge for collecting um, the vapor phase. So I've just plugged the cartridge in there. We can either just condense straight onto the cartridge. So the kind of scenario that we, we're envisaging is um, somebody's doing some sort of um, sanitation or disinfection of a hospital ward or maybe food storage or some sort of pharmaceutical production facility and they may be putting a sort of an, oxid an oxidizing environment through using something like hydrogen peroxide generation. Now the question is, is if you, when you're doing something like that, how much hydrogen peroxide have you actually put into the um, gas phase and I, gas phase and vapor phase? And actually that's not necessarily known, but what this will do is you can pull it, put this into the environment. Um, there's a collection point here, which will collect, um, let's say the atmosphere, and then it will analyze the atmosphere. So what I'm gonna do is, um, at the moment, it's not doing much. So what I'll do is I'll turn around, um, I'm just gonna go okay on this. Um, I'll just go okay on this. What this is doing is it's actually asking me, um, you know, you. I want to sample the environment. I specifically want to sample the vapor phase because molecules like hydrogen peroxide, they're not, um, necessarily in the gas phase, they're in vapor that's carried in the gas phase, but they're strictly speaking in the vapor phase. So we need to actually condense them. And to condense them, we have to get to their dew point. Um, so what I'll do is I'll, I we effectively have a, if I just spin this round, effectively have a, um, a Peltier here, um, and we can control the Peltier and condense the atmosphere. So I'm just gonna set some parameters on that Peltier, which I've done. All right, and now it's basically cooling it down. So it's, um, if I just bring this close, it's saying it's at 20 degrees, 19. So it's basically cooling down at the moment. So we're cooling down. So what this um, technology allows us to do, um, it allows us to convert what is vapor in the vapor phase, uh, it's being carried around kind of in the atmosphere. It allows us to bring the vapor to its dew point. We're then able to collect the vapor and then we're able to analyze it. So we can have it kind of quite stationary like this, where we just generally condense in the atmosphere. So as long as any atmosphere comes towards the plate, here we'll condense it. Now, if you want to be more specific about what, what material is actually reaching the, um, the condensing plate, um, then we have, um, uh, we have a sort of, um, like that, and that clips on the front, and then you can basically, if you have an exhaust that you want to direct, we can then direct the exhaust onto there. So I'll just have a look. Yeah. So basically it's reached temperature now and basically it will sort of do a, it will do a collection um, now. Um, so in summary, we, well not in summary actually, what we have here is a, um, is a reader. It's able to collect the um, vapor phase and then it's able to actually analyze analytes in that vapor phase and in the first instance we were able to analyze um, hydrogen peroxide.